Okay, hello my people of uh, engineering graphics. This is your TA coming out to you live again to create another video for you guys. Um, very happy with the amount of views that I've been getting. It's pretty cool. I've, uh, and uh, let's keep it that way. Let's keep it going. I was just now creating a video for my uh, guys at 3341. And of course, there is a lot more of them than you guys, but uh, and I'm really overall, I'm very happy, and I know that you are very happy too. All right, so um, let's just uh, do a marathon here. I know that uh, a lot of people haven't finished their assignments, I only have one person finishing them all successfully. So, I'm gonna create them all very quickly, okay, very fast because I'm running out of time. I have to do something uh, for that one, okay, because that's the one that showed most of the profile. So, sketch and um. I'm gonna create a circle, circle here, and then a little circle right here. Then I'm gonna create a line, but I'm gonna use that option here, which is line tangent. So a line tangent of that to that, and then line tangent to that. No, then just that. Uh, all right, to this, to that. Now again, doesn't wanna do it. Okay, so I'm gonna use like that to here okay so notice that I have my tangent scenes on both sides now okay so I'm gonna use this uh, uh, delete segment and this is pretty cool da, da, da. but very careful okay analyze these two edges at the very end just take that extra line and then let's take that little line in there and approve it and extrude it or I'll just zoom into that it and there you go okay very simple you have to use all of your commands though on sketch okay be aware that there is a uh, uh, tangent line that you can use to successfully complete it okay and when you're completing and when you're doing the, this tangent line right here um, from that from this other side you need to select the lower circle just view the video with and view it as much times as needed okay that's what it's there for all right, now the second part it's a weird shape that nothing weird about we're gonna use the same the top front the top side sketch it and very very easy very fast let's go through it okay line we're gonna start here going up to the right down we're gonna create a little stairs just kind of playing along here from here down to here in there and that's it okay very simple structure we okay that zoom out default orientation extrude it and then approve it and i'm done okay very simple i'm doing it very fast because i don't have much time i have to be on a meeting in a few minutes okay um so let's keep on going okay now the third one or the fourth one it looks like also very simple we're gonna use the front for that one and I'm gonna say sketch so I'm gonna create two concentric circles okay one circle here then another one maybe there okay then I'm gonna grab my cool leading pencil or whatever the thing was then I'm gonna select back to my line I'm gonna start my line maybe there come out a distance here come down here and go all the way across it there I want to match the L ones notice my L ones matching up and then there okay couple of things a little good thing for the undo button right okay so how are we gonna do this now okay then what now Oh, that's my favorite song, by the way. That's my, my wife and her music in the living room, by the way, guys. All right, so then here, I'm going to use that, and I'm going to draw all the way across. And then all the way across that way. Okay, so then you all see what I did, right? Oh, okay. So then I'm going to OK that. I'm going to extrude that, and I'm going to do my default orientation. So here we have done. Okay? Very easy very straightforward uh, and that is that okay what was the other one um, 
again I'm gonna pick the front side and this is on page 2-34 I think all right 2-34 so sketch you're gonna sketch is that line and then from here to here down to here to here I don't know, I'm gonna use equal lengths so that I keep my my lens the same okay so very simply right extrude that but the only difference this time is that here I'm gonna go to zoom it all and then give me my default orientation I'm gonna extrude it from the half okay and the reason why I'm gonna do that from both directions is so that I know that it's gonna be equal on that side and that side for what I'm about to do all right so let me say and do approve this image and then I'm gonna use this front I'm gonna select that front and notice that it turns all pink or reddish and I want to say sketch and then I'm gonna allocate some dimensions okay don't be afraid to use dimensions all right that and that and one more that and that okay the reason why creating dimensions again is so that we see a much better half we know where things are gonna be located at okay so let's use our arc and we're gonna start it from here all the way to maybe here mm. maybe yeah like that and then from here to here and then from here to here okay kind of like giving us all of these three arts are the same but just to make sure we're gonna go to constraining and we're gonna say make, make that equal oh they're all equal r1 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 okay since I don't have the assignment right in front of me, uh, you might have to go back in and just rearrange a couple of things. All right, but nothing out of this world. Maybe this side of the arc, that part right here, might be straight. Prove this this image right here looks kind of fine. It looks alright. So I'm gonna prove that, and I'm gonna say, give me the full direction, and I'm gonna extrude that. Mm -hmm. That plane. I'm gonna extrude it that way and I'm gonna tell it give me a solid and remove it okay one thing notice this arrow right here do you see that what happens if that arrow is looking down that way and you let's say you had it that way okay let's say that you were mm, doing that and then when you were to, to remove material after you extrude it to be a solid and you say remove material and you preview it check that out then what happens then what do you do well you call your TA right you call your TA at 2 in the morning and you, you ask them what to do no that's not what you're gonna do you're gonna change the the, 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 the the removal of the of the material direction okay so you're gonna click on that arrow really quickly and then see what happens Bow. look at that okay the other part that you need to do is to draw something on this down that way straight align that here then let's go up at that same projection but then I want to make a construction line from here to here and I'm gonna use my constraint elements and I'm gonna say put that on right. So let me just close that out and uh, I'm going to make it a little more steep, not steep, but like a little more steep into the center and approve it, approve it and extrude it, remove solid material, make sure that that arrow again is pointing at the up direction. If not, it's going to remove everything it's below its point. Okay. Oh, let me just move it to the other direction. All right, preview. Beautiful. Done. Okay, guys, very easy, very straightforward. I know you can do it. Make me proud. Okay, I'll see you all tomorrow. Sorry for rushing it that way, but I, I had to do as perfect as the one in the book looks like, but I'm giving you some ideas. I'm just throwing things at you, okay? Um, there is enough videos out there that you can watch that I created so that you can successfully complete your assignments, all right? Once again, thank you for watching. I'm really proud of you. I'm really happy. 
stay positive, think positive, and you'll see the outcome. But right now, take it easy, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.